A complaint filed against the Texas Juvenile Justice Department alleges sexual assault, physical abuse, and rampant gang activity in state-ran detention facilities. Fox 44's Kendall Green joins us in the studio. Kendall, one of these facilities mentioned, it's right here in Central Texas. Yeah, Adam, that complaint lists McLennan County State Juvenile Correctional Facility, located in MARP, along with four other state-run facilities. Now, it claims the conditions are a constitutional violation of juvenile inmates' rights. The 23-page complaint filed with the U.S. Department of Justice Civil Rights Division says juvenile facilities are understaffed and unsafe for youth inmates. Brett Murfish is the director of youth justice at Texas Appleseed. She says systematic issues like sexual victimization, high staff turnover, and excessive use of force plague the five juvenile facilities run by the state. The report claims McLennan County has the highest rate of suicidal youth in solitary confinement. 187 times a child referred themselves to solitary confinement in 2018 because of a danger to self um, or for suicide risk and 103 times in 2019. The report also noting a specific case in October of 2018. There, a program supervisor was accused of downloading a picture of a youth's genitals and printing the photo. One in six youth reported um, some kind of sexual victimization or abuse. So that could be youth on youth, it could be staff on youth, um, but, you know, without that proper monitoring, without that proper activity and engagement, that's the kind of stuff that happens that we think is obviously highly problematic. The report makes note of use of excessive force as well. The diagram here shows nearly half, 46% of youth inmates in McLennan County were subjected to use of force. You know, handcuffs, um, physical restraints, and it also includes use of force includes the use of pepper spray, which we object to. Fox 44 contacted TJJD and received no response. Now the organizations that filed that complaint say they'd like to see the facilities properly staffed and the youth inside properly protected. If not, they want to see the five facilities named in that complaint shut down. In studio, Kendall Green, Fox 44 News.